about the present. Mm -hmm. uh, an another match for the folks at home. Take it away, Cephalon. So we're going to get right into it with What the Flux versus Mouth. So I don't know too much about What the Flux. I don't know if you can. Uh, Place Falcon. Please Place Falcon. Um, and uh, definitely, definitely still, uh, you know, uh, relatively new, I guess, mm -hmm. towards the scene. Uh, we, we've seen him a lot at Eminem, and I think the one thing about him is he, whenever I see him play, he's not necessarily uh, like he, he doesn't really strike me as as the twenty jig type of type of Falcon. Okay. Oh, uh, but he doesn't also strike me as the old school Falcon either. Okay. It's like a weird hybrid between the two. Interesting. Right? Um, mouth, on the other hand, we, we, we know that Peach. Oh, yes. We know Mouth. We know that Peach, and we know that Mouth. Uh, he was playing Fox earlier, but the Peach is going to be coming out, despite the fact that a lot of folks would say that this matchup uh, can go in Falcon's favor, especially at some of these mid-levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Falcon, since he's such a, an evasive player, can be very, very difficult for a slower character like Peach to actually just put hands on her, on, on him, rather. Yeah, you see those neutral lights will be cutting through a lot of her approaches. Really, really difficult to. I mean, it's if he if she's in the right positioning, she can get through those neutral airs either with like a well spaced dash attack or like a dropping a neutral air forward or forward air from above. But it's really difficult just to wedge yourself into that positioning. Nice nair over from mouth. A big part about this is going to be avoiding a lot of these combo starters. But when you're even getting comboed, it's really important for mouth to mix things up. Uh, whether it's quick aerials or some nice DIs to get out of what the flux's combos, but what the flux. No, whenever he gets to one of those grabs at that kind of a percent, there isn't much you can do to escape that need. He's going to be taking the first stock in this first game. Yeah, at like low to mid percents, it's actually kind of tricky to combo Peach off of the Falcon throws. Usually, Falcon's you know used to having like guaranteed like the the standard tech chase flow chart, or even if not, just straight up guaranteed damage off of throws. But Peach can do some awkward stuff like DI in slight different ways and try and put out aerials out or try and like wiggle out in an instant air dodge to make it so that it's, it's kind of complicated. It's kind of hard to pin it down sometimes. Very tricky, and another really big problem that Falcon can fall into is the second that he's off of the stage. We touched on his lackluster recovery in the last game, but even, but even in uh, against like a character like Peach, right? Whenever you're off stage against a character like Peach, especially when they start that turn-up game, it's so difficult to get around that. Absolutely, yeah. And like the the setting up the the multi kick down air at the ledge, comboing that into the neutral air can be very very difficult to get around. So even like it's you know, a lot of people will go for the simple like oh well you're recovering I just down smash and it covers anything. But that can be tech. That that, that you can do some tricky stuff to to make it so it sends you in a like the the way you want by crouch canceling it like taking multi hits. But the yeah the down air at the ledge will pull you up up above it and oftentimes you can't actually tech the follow up neutral air. What the flux going off stage there? That overextension is going to be costing him a stock. Bit rough. So we're, I guess, it, I mean, near the point where both of these characters are at two stocks, right? Mm -hmm. And what are some tendencies and habits that you've seen from both of them, and maybe some things that are making this game as close as it is? So, uh, well, at the start of it, what the flux was doing a really good job of, like, like we mentioned, setting up those neutral layers, setting up the sort of a wall for Peach to go through. But uh, Mouth has been doing a pretty good job actually getting through that. Uh, yeah, getting in, getting things started. With, um, Using those dash attacks, just it's cut in it's sort of a little bit of a little bit of burst movement to, to just yeah like right there like he was actually outside of the range of for him to really like set up a uh, a dash grab or get any real follow up but so like Falcon's like okay well you know I'm I'm out of the, out of the fray I can move around now but that dash attack will cut right in and that was uh, a rather phenomenal read <laughs> oh my god that read was. I mean, what can you say about that? What, yeah, what more can you honestly say about that read? Just, just absolutely immaculate. And a uh, big thing that I think about whenever I look at this is we expect on paper for, for, at least from a damage standpoint, for Falcon to have a stronger punish game. But like we saw in that last stock, Mouse's punish game was absolutely phenomenal. And he, he took What the Flux to 0 to 80, got him off stage, and then had that like insane read afterwards and proceeded to close out the stock. And even now, like you touched on before, mm -hmm. he's been able to shut down all of these approaches, forcing What the Flux off stage again, Ooh. and reverse fairing him into the right blast zone. Mouth, you are a god. That was cute. Yeah, a little unnecessary, but definitely cute. Like, he just definitely got him out far enough where he could have just floated to the ledge. Maybe even just let him up B and fall to his doom. But that was cute. I liked it. I love that, man. <laughs> I love that so much. You know, re reverse hits are so big in 64. So what better stage to do something on than Dreamland? Mm -hmm, am I right? Yeah. So what the flux with the counter pick here of uh, 
Pe oh, sorry, the Peaches, wow. Pokemon Stadium. And, and this is big because, it, on one hand, it gives them a bit more room to, to run around from a pure horizontal standpoint, mm -hmm. I feel. But the the only issue with that is if he gives Mouth too much room, then we're going to be seeing some more of those turnips. And that's one really important thing to consider is that Mouth, I think, I think for what the flux, not only does he need to be able to come in, but he also has to find a way to ensure that he doesn't let Mouth start pulling some of these turnips because they can be some really, really bad problems for Falcon. Absolutely, yeah. The setting up the, the full hop turnip into the floating aerials in is a pretty bread and butter peach approach. And whenever you, you actually let her get the turnips, it can be very, very difficult to stop that. Already, we're less than a minute into this game, and Mouth has done a great job of dictating the pace of the match. If What the Flux hasn't been able to find too many approaches, he hasn't been able to find too many openings, and Mouth has done a really good job of ensuring that all of his punishes are on point. Even the punishes on himself <laughs> are on point. As he yes, he definitely punished himself <laughs> very well. Throwing away that stock there. Great shield poke. He understood that that shield was whittled down enough to the point where that down tilt would go and cut right through it, but doesn't find himself around that side B. The Raptor boost, however, not really being followed up by too much. Again, what the Flux is, subpar punish game is really coming to haunt him, and Mouth is making up for it in strides with yet another fantastic stock. Yeah, I think you might be surprised. Like, on paper, you, you'd think this matchup, you know, Falcon would should have the, the better damage output, but Peach's damage output, I mean, as we've seen on Falcon, is pretty, pretty intense. Even off of stuff like grabs, you can get up throw follow-ups, which you know, Mouth hasn't been needing to do because he's been getting follow ups off of down tilts, follow ups off of dash attacks. Uh, you know, they're pushing him off stage and then using the edge guard to end, to end his stock. So then maybe, so what can make, what can what the flux change up there, right? Because uh, like we touched on, he needs to figure out ways to get the punish game at least started. Mm -hmm. But he's having some hard times, particularly with the dash attack and options like that. So is an option maybe dash dancing around and then trying to bait that out and then punishing? Or? Yeah, I think that's definitely one thing. The, um, that, that's sort of like the, the Yomi of the match, the layers that happen, mm -hmm. is that so the dash attack is there. And if what the Flux starts respecting the dash attack, then that gives Peach just like the little tiny inch of, inch of movement that she needs to just run straight at you and set up positioning with float cancel areas which, you know, is, is where she wants to be. So sometimes that's all she needs. It's just sort of like right there. He, he ran in and then shielded, uh, expecting the, uh, the dash attack and looking for a punish afterwards. And that actually put him in the range where Moth wanted to be. So he instead, he just float canceled the back air. And now we're kind of seeing the switch. Uh, it seemed for a second that What the Flux was content with throwing out a preemptive knee because knee basically beats everything. Mm -hmm. Knee basically beats everything. So Ooh. another piece to that puzzle. What the Flux closing out that stock with a great knee follow-up. Still down by quite a lot of percent. Has to figure out a way to kind oh. of punish Mouth, but the way that Mouth is playing just makes it seem like there aren't too many chinks in that armor. Yeah, the way that Mouth is playing is making it so landing the higher reward Falcon things is really hard, if not impossible. So what you would generally want to do in this situation is just give that up and just say, okay, I just won't land super heavy punish stuff. I'll just space you out with neutral airs. Well, it looks like what the Flux is starting to try to do. Uh, well, the, the idea is there. He's like he's looking for it, but the execution I think is uh, could be a little bit more on point. And Mouth's done a great job, I think, of calling out what the Flux pretty consistently on when he chooses to drop that shield, and he's been getting a lot of openings that way as well. The, these, I guess, cross-ups on between hot and cold that we're seeing from Mouth mm -hmm. have really started to pile on some of this percentage. But what the Flux might be able to take another stock here. He has him trapped on the platform. Good option there, not trying to overextend and go for one of those YOLO knees. It would have been way too far to get that commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is one of the weaknesses of Peach, trying to get on stage after landing on the ledge like that. A lot of characters in that sort of situation would be looking for the, the ledge hops into like wave dashing on stage or ledge hop aerials. But Peach's double jump has a lot of startup um, before it actually moves upwards, so it's not a really good option from her. So it can be very difficult for the character to actually get onto center stage. Oh, the aerial falcon kick, changing up the timing, getting falcon to hit the ground, but... Oh! I don't know if it really contributed too much, because I, th I feel like a knee would have killed before the falcon kick, and it at best granted him a, a touch of stage control. Well, worth noting is that the falcon kick actually is changing up the timing. If um, if he had gone just just dropped with the knee, it's very possible that uh, the attacks that Mouth had been putting out would have beaten it. But you know the Falcon Kick, you know, stops. He he hovers in the air a little bit on the startup and puts his leg in the air and Falcon Kick. Yeah. So <laughs> this is a good point. And at the very least, it can reset neutral. Maybe give him some time to figure out how his next approach is going to be. Yeah, pretty risky thing to try, but you know if it works. 
Oh, Ooh. that neutral air will trade with that side B. It's so tough to deal with a peach who's ahead. Yes. Like, her trades, it's, it just feels like almost every single time Mouth would try to go and contest with some sort of aerial, Nair would come out, mm -hmm. an option like that. And Mouth would be able to come out on top on, I think, almost every single trade. Yes, yeah, that is Peach's specialty, the long game. The long game.